five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Live from Harlem, from New York City, it's the Ramble with me. I'm Alex Bennett, and I'll be here until midnight Eastern Daylight Time. Yes, hello there, everybody. How are you? Good evening. Welcome to our fine little program. Uh, and uh, um, uh, how kind of day has it been for me? Oh, God. You know, I had those, uh, those seeds put in, you know, in the prostate. And uh, they said, oh, you're going to have to pee a lot, and it's going to be hard to pee sometimes. And first couple week or so, everything was fine. And all of a sudden today, like two weeks in, uh, I'm having trouble peeing, and I got I have to sit down in order to pee. It's, it's, uh, so I may, during the program, have to say to my citizen panel, will you excuse me for a few minutes while I go and attempt to evacuate? But we'll see if I can get through the whole period of time without having to, to do that. Uh, because I've, I've, I've medicined myself up. They've doubled my dose of what they call Flomax. And you don't want to hear anything about that. You don't want to hear about my the whole Michigan thing. I, I, I hate it, you know. I hate it because I'm getting old. I'm hating it because, you know, I, I, I didn't get things like this, right? Luckily, I didn't get it earlier, okay? So I guess I, I have something to be thankful for. Anyways, also, if I get tired, it's because they, uh, this Flomax lowers your blood pressure, and she said, well, double the dose. So I doubled the dose, and just before I went on, and it may just so lower my blood pressure that I'll go, <laughs> I'll pass out on you. So anyway, no one wants to hear about that. Listen, I'll tell you what they do want to hear about, though. I, You know... Uh, there are certain things in our life which to all of us is kind of a constant. One of them is uh, Facebook. Uh, most of us have a Facebook account. Why? We have no idea. Do we like it? I know nobody who actually likes and loves Facebook. Do you know anybody who loves Facebook? No. Why do I have an account? Just so I can tell people, hey, we're not going on tonight. We're going on tomorrow night. Uh, hey, uh, here's something I want you to listen to. I'm posting last night's show. That's the reason I got a Facebook account. And occasionally you feel with your Facebook account that you might be able to do some good with it. And, you know, I've had a friend, and his name is uh, Will Durst, and you know him quite well because he's been a regular on this program, at least until last October, when all of a sudden he was, uh, he was about to go on stage and he had a stroke. Now, some people have a stroke, and they're ready to go the next day. I was seeing a documentary the other night on uh, Jacques Pepin, Pepin the uh, French uh, cooking expert who uh, uh, did a lot of TV and wrote a lot of great books about the art of chopping stuff up. And just before he was supposed to go to an 80th birthday party in New York, a big fete they were holding for him, uh, he had a stroke. Now, he was lucky. He had the stroke when he was having dinner with his uh, internist and his cardiologist, okay? So they knew immediately what to do, got him to a hospital, and he was fine enough that he actually said, I'll fly to New York, and the doctor said, look, you don't want to do any flying. You just had a stroke, okay? So some, And then after that, he was pretty much the same as he always was, okay? That's some strokes. Other strokes affect different parts of your body. And in the case of Will Durst, it affected his uh, ability to use his right arm, according to Debbie, and his right leg. So he can't walk, right, without assistance, and he doesn't have this hand to use, which to me is the most important hand because, you know. Anyway, I'll, I'll get into that later. Um, so anyway, so... Um, it, this was really a, uh, a major stroke, okay? And, um, of course, I worried about him, and, of course, Debbie worried about him, and he was in the hospital for 
God, I don't know how long. It was last October this happened, and it wasn't just, just till recently that they put him in a rehabilitative facility. Uh, for weeks, he was hanging on. They had uh, uh, drains in his brain and, oh, all kinds, I mean, all kinds of stuff. But he, he got past that, and now he is in the, he's in the rehabilitative stage. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read to you from uh, uh, Debbie's GoFundMe page, okay? And the reason I'm going to read from it is so that you can see what she says about the situation. She says, Debbie Durst here, as many of you know, Will had a stroke last October. Five months later, Will needs further therapy in a facility that can cater to his current needs. There's no insurance coverage available to pay for this expense. We have immediate need of financial assistance and to make sure Will can stay at this facility and receive the appropriate amount of care so he can recover and eventually return home. He is totally dependent on assistance at this point and will not regain further use of his left arm or leg without this intensive therapy. Uh, and then she goes on to talk about how he was an important voice in the community and, you know, we all love Will. She doesn't really have to do that sales point, but nice of her to do it. So, um, and then uh, she, the goal was $50,000, and that was met in like two days. That's how well-loved this guy is. And um, she raised the goal to $65,000. Uh, and uh, I, I, I gave what I could. You know, I'm, I'm on a fixed income to begin with. And secondly, I'm not trying to make excuses here. Um, I have quite a few expenses myself regarding this whole prostate cancer thing, which not every penny of it is taken care of by insurance. There are certain co-pays and yearly deductibles and things like that. So by the time you're through, yeah, you know, there's a lot of out of pocket. So I, I can't afford a lot, but I sent what I could. And then I thought about it and I said, well, maybe I can't send as much as I would like, but I can send, I can do something, I think, for them. And I went online to my Facebook page, and I did a, I, I put a link to her GoFundMe page, uh, a, a link to her GoFundMe page, and I um, um, then told people, please, you know, if you love the guy, I've got 5,000 people who look at this page. If all of you would give some money, she'd be well over the top on this deal. So see what you can do, okay? All right. So, uh, all right, so um, that was that, or so we thought, okay? Um, so I put it up, and uh, within a few days, there was a huge, huge outpouring uh, from my people to the thing, and I think maybe I'm somewhere, maybe raised maybe $5,000, help, help raise 5,000 of, of the money. And right now she's over the sixty-five thousand. And by the way, you can still go to it. Go to my fund, GoFundMe, and then just put in search Will Durst, and you'll find it right there. And whatever you can give, you can give you know ten dollars. Some people have done ten. Some a couple of people did a couple of people did a five thousand dollars. Okay. And I wish that I were working and I was doing great and all of that. Uh, I would certainly not for a moment think that I shouldn't give a lot more than I did. Uh, but there were people that gave 5000 there were people that gave $10, you know, but every penny helps. And uh, now with that other 15000 that she added onto there, they can put a, uh, uh, a stair lift, uh, you know, one of these things that goes up the stairs so he can get from the first floor to the second floor of their house in, uh, in San Francisco. And um, uh, there is um, uh, there are other things I've got to make some alterations to the bathroom and so on. But according to her, this is a lot of the money they need. But I think they need more than that. Okay, I mean, uh, this is going to be a long haul. And you know, um, when you're doing physical therapy and things like that, and you're in a in a in a place that does it. Um, how far is fifty thousand dollars going to get you? So I'm once again pleading to you to, if you haven't done so already, to go out there and uh, go to. Let me see here. Uh, let me see if I can put a picture of the uh, 
of the page up. Where do I have it here? I have the page. I, I have it somewhere here. Or I had it here. Well, I guess I, I don't any longer. Let me, let me, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on a second. There we are. Here it is. Okay. Let me see here if I can go to it here. Let me go to the screen here so that you can, you can see what it looks like. Um, you go, you just go to GoFundMe and go to Will Durst. Okay. Just up in the up, searches right up there, folks. And you put in Will Durst. And then you um, you donate. It's very simple. You go donate now, and it asks you what what you, what you want to use. I think you can actually use things like uh, well, you can use any credit card, and you can usually usually use what's the PayPal. I think you can use too, and and you can donate. And they ask you to give an extra ten dollars. I guess that's what GoFundMe gets or whatever. And uh, uh, you know, donate what you can. That's all I'm saying. You know. And, uh, you know, make sure those, the, that those two people have a happy rest of their lives together, okay? I, I feel so bad about this because Will has been a regular on this show every three weeks for the last the three or four years. And uh, he's an old friend of mine, and I, he worked with me a lot and did shows with me a lot. And um, I absolutely love and adore the guy, and I adore her, too. She's just... And one of the funniest people alive, I might add. But the two of them are just two wonderful people. And to show how much they're loved, I mean, if you look here, there have been 550 donors so far. Okay, look at that, 550 donors. And uh, uh, there are uh, 2,000 shares and 549 followers. So, um, folks, um, you know, if you can, go to... Uh, Go fund me, and then look up Will Durst, and it'll come right up and, and make some kind of donation if you can. But now, that's not what is uh, is is bothering me. Okay, so so I put I put that thing up. I put a link to it on my Facebook page, and I get a thing from Facebook, and I got to get this up here. Let me see here, so I can read it to you. Um, and it says. Your post goes against our community standards, and you can see it. And I go, I go view Facebook, so I go to view the, that, okay? And, and what do we come up with, folks? Okay, let me uh, once again uh, put the screen up. Uh, wait a minute, screen, there we go. Hmm? See? That's what I got. Uh, your post goes against our community standards on spam. No one else can see your post. Now, it's funny because for days, people have been able to see that post, right? Because obviously, a lot of them wrote in and said, done, I paid for it, I did that, you know. Uh, and uh, it says, am I on YouTube yet? Yes, I am on YouTube. Uh, uh, yes, I am. Phil Meyer says, are you on YouTube yet? Yes, of course I'm on YouTube. I'm looking right now at me on YouTube. Okay, see, I just showed everybody. Everybody, you can see that I'm there on YouTube. Okay, anyway. So anyway, where were we? Oh, yeah. So anyway, um, so uh, I, I know, uh, then people wrote, uh, done, you know, and I saw a lot of names of people I know the, uh, who, who were giving money to them and so on and so forth, and uh, it's no real, uh, it's, it's terrific, you know. So... Obviously, they were still allowing it to be done, or maybe they stopped it on like Sunday or something like that. And I'm, I was just livid, okay? And I was livid because, you know, I was trying to do something nice for somebody, and I was trying to help somebody out. And so I have a link to something, and all of a sudden they're saying, you can't do that because that's not the kind of spam we will allow. on You know, Um I then put uh, 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 this up on my Facebook page, along with what they wrote. And people wrote me back. I've take, since taken it off because I don't need to use it any longer. But I've since taken it off. And it was, for the most part, um, uh, people writing me back saying, I had the same thing happen to me. There were like 20 or 30 of these things. Same thing happened to me, and I just put up a link to like uh, uh, coronavirus hints and things like that. And I'm going, what's going on here? So finally, somebody put this up, 
Facebook is blocking users from posting some legitimate news articles about the novel coronavirus and what appears to be a bug in its spam filters. I can still be monetized, I think, if I use the finger. Uh, on Tuesday, multiple Facebook users reported on Twitter that they found themselves unable to post articles from certain news outlets, including Business Insider, BuzzFeed, The Atlantic, and The Times of Israel. It's not clear exactly what had gone wrong, and Facebook did not respond to a request for comment. In the face of the mounting COVID-19 COVID pandemic, Facebook has sent many of its consent moderators, content moderators home saying it will rely more on an automated software instead. Alex Stamos, an outspoken uh, former Facebook security executive, speculated that the shift might be to blame. It looks like an anti-spam rule at Facebook is going haywire, he wrote on Twitter. Facebook sent home content moderators yesterday who generally can't... Uh, work from home uh, due to privacy commitments the company has made. We might be seeing the start of uh, MI machine learning going nuts with a less human oversight. Facebook, however, denied that the bug was related to any changes to its content moderator. Why were people like, it wasn't just me with my thing. I found it was people who were you know, they it was just made a link to some other page. People do that all the time on Facebook. But Facebook won't admit that they that anything's wrong. You know, I would I'd dump Facebook in a second, and the only reason I don't dump Facebook is because uh, I you know it's a way of me to communicate in general with my audience, uh, and that's the only reason I still have it. Plus, I have five thousand people. I have the maximum. So if I kill it, I lose all those 5,000 people. But maybe I shouldn't give a crap, you know? It just, it just makes me mad, okay? And it, what makes me worse mad is not that this happened, but the, uh, you know, and if it was some kind of a glitch in their system, okay, I'm going to give them that, you know? Uh, but not admitting that there's a glitch in their system, that's the problem. That's what I think is all wrong, okay? And uh, I, just, I just find it, you know, bizarre, uh, to say the least. And, and it pisses me off. I've got better things to do with my life than have to deal with these, these, these douchebags. Can I say that? Is that? Or will that make me not monetized? By the way, you know, I've had a, a problem with, with YouTube. Because I will, I, I put up two. If you ever go to my YouTube listings, you will see that there's the sh same show twice, and the reason it's there, there are two of them. One says live from live from YouTube. Okay, that's a a version of the program that is recording at YouTube right now. When I'm through doing this show, it automatically posts that. I am also making a copy of the show. Uh, which is sans all the commercials that I run at the beginning, all the promos and everything, that I, I also put on Facebook as well. So basically, they're two identical shows. And sometimes they go, cannot be monetized, and then on the same show, in the other version, it says, it, it can be monetized. And you go, well, wait, what's going on here? This doesn't make any sense at all. So for the longest time, I've been trying to get a hold of somebody at, uh, at um, um, uh, Facebook to tell me what the hell's going on. And they've been nice enough. Finally, I found somebody. And uh, they, uh, they, they uh, wrote me back uh, and uh, told me that, uh, you know, that they're working on it and that they understand that the problem is, you know, thanks for your... Uh, for your input and so on and so forth uh, we skim through your content and you're right it's the same exact content as you mentioned almost the same exact time um and uh we really appreciate uh, it says uh, uh, now i know your main question is about these two videos having different results despite having the same contents 
I forward this over to our internal team for another set of review. I will get back to you as soon as we hear from them. I really appreciate your patient, uh, your patience as well as, as we work this out for you. Uh, uh, please let us know if there are any other questions. Fern. So thank you very much. I, I appreciate that. And it's good to know that that's at least being taken care of. So. Uh, we'll, we'll hope we get some kind of an interesting answer out of that because it's every night I, I have to ask for a review and then they review it and they go, oh, yeah, it's okay. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm getting tired of all these machines they have that supposedly listen to the shows as they're being done and then flag them. And uh, it's not a human being flagging them. It's just, you know, whatever. So anyway, let's see. I got one out about what, about an hour and five minutes to go. Let's see if I can go that whole hour without having to run out into the next room, and and peeing. Okay. In which case, you guys are going to have to do the show for me. But I just put a I just put us up. Okay. So I just put Skype up, and we're ready to go here. So anybody who wants to call can do so. And please, again, if you get a chance, uh, uh, and you haven't done so already. Um, just send what you can to Will and Debbie, you know. And what's worse, you know, Will is in this in this rehab center, right? And she can't visit him now. Why? <laughs> San Francisco's on lockdown. In fact, I'm talking to Bubs tomorrow. I'm going to get to talk to him about this lockdown. Uh, let's see here. Oh, oh, look who's there in in what is appearing to be. A, uh, let me see here. First of all, let me just get him uh, here. Uh, let me put him up. Um, let me go here. Uh, there we go. Rob Alfano is the first one up, and he looks like he's in his uh, his studio that he's building, right? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear. Talk a little louder. A little bit. Yeah, you're a little. You have a little bit of um, some problem there. I know. I don't know what it is. Oh, hey, it's it's cool now. It's sounding great now. You mm -hmm. know. So, well, there's a lot of work to be done in here. Yeah, yeah. It, ha it probably has to do more with it. it. Seems to be like you're over modulating slightly or something like that. Well, and that's the weird thing because I have played with this six ways from Sunday. Yeah. And, and I, you know, when you go in and you select what you want your uh, mic to be. Mm-hmm. I have, I shouldn't be selecting microphone. I should be selecting the output of this board, but it doesn't work that way. I don't know why yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, and I have it on the lowest possible setting that I could have it on. Is that better if I lower the board? Uh, it, it lower just a little more. How's that? Yeah, that's fine. You're you're fine. I mean, we can hear you fine. It's a little on the bassy side, you know. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Also, don't have the mic processor set up yet. I need a, an attenuator that's coming in the mail. It'll be here this weekend. Yeah. So uh, you know, but w once you're set up, it's going to be wonderful, and maybe we can hear your voice again. You know, on... <laughs> look at this mess. Huh? I'll show you quickly around. So this is the good part. Yeah. You can see, that's the good part. Yeah. And this is all the stuff that has to be set up yet. Wow. Look at the mess on the floor. Uh, oh God, yeah, yeah. I I know I know doing that because I've been through that in my lifetime. I'll tell you that right now. Um, I've been through that kind of mess where you have to reset everything up. Uh, and uh, let me see here. There we go. Here we've got uh, Mar Charlene Martinez there. So, anyways, you're getting your studio up and running, and. Uh, uh, once you do, boy, have I got a number of promos that need redoing. I just I ran across one tonight. Every now and then I'll play something I hadn't played in a while. I go, oh, I'll play that one. I went to You Love Gabnet. And they go, uh, and it goes, uh, yes, and on uh, such and such, you can see Alex Bennett's uh, ramble on Friday nights when he does video. <laughs> and I went, well, that's too old. You know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, hello to Phil. Hello to Charlie. Hello to Charlene. Yeah. So, um, how are you all doing in your various Bailey Wicks? Are you surviving, Charlie? Yeah, just what do you say, uh, surviving in place or whatever you call. I'm, I'm just staying in the house. You, you haven't gone out at all. Or have you gone shopping or? 
I went out and got the mail. You went down and got the mail. Did you wear a mask? Nope. Oh, okay. All right. I never saw a person. You Nobody. Know, you know, it was really nice today. Uh, I had to have my uh, super come up and fix something here in the apartment. And he said, oh, wait a minute. Let me go get something. I'll be back. And he came back with two of the harder masks, you know, not the soft ones. And uh, I went, wow, that's, that's great. You know, that's terrific. Uh, and uh, we thanked him for him, and he went and got him for us. And then we went to see, I asked Marjorie, I said, where did he get those from? I mean, you know, did they supply them to him in his, uh, uh, let me see here, I'm trying to figure out, oh, there we that, that's probably what that one is. That's probably, uh, yeah, there's Jeff Seller. Hi, Jeff. Uh, where did he get them? And she said, oh, he, he has tons of them downstairs. I said, what, did the building send them to him for the coronavirus? She said, no, they use them when they're plastering and doing stuff like that and don't want to inhale dust. You know, so we've got a couple of really kind of, we have like four of those harder, you know, masks. Now, the question that came up was, do you clean them after you've been out? Can you? I suppose you could probably use like hand sanitizer hand sanitizer on them or something or you know it, would they be do they need to be cleaned how often are you how long are you supposed to use them for i don't know i don't know i uh, we, we you know i've only been out once and i used the little like you know the one the dentist uses you know those masks um and i didn't even uh, and we we were just wearing them because they were fun to wear you know but today, I, I understand some people have been outside say a lot of people are wearing masks now. It's becoming kind of the new, again, part of the new normal are wearing the masks, which uh, I wish people had been doing long before this because in other countries when somebody has a cold and they go to work or they go out, yeah. they put on a, uh, a, a mask, you know? Um, he said, we've been joined by uh, Alan Kroger. Let me see here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let me see here. I gotta find him though. Let me see here. What name are you using there? Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Kroger. There we go. Where where are where are you? You're you kind of look like the Phantom of the Opera. Where the hell are you? <laughs> I'm in the car. Oh, okay. Yeah. Me? Oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> of course. Maybe uh, I can turn the light on. Maybe it's better off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> where, where, where are you coming from or going to? Um, let's see. I used to be in Yorktown. Hi, Phil. Um, and now I'm in Croton. Yeah, I'm in Hudson. Okay. And, and, and how is life out in Croton these days with the new normal? Yeah, well, it's... New normal is good. It describes it accurately. Uh, let's see. I'm, a, I'm one of these uh, work-at-home people, and that's boring as hell, of course. But, you know, I've got a lot of phone calls as I work in the mental health field. So I'm talk, talk, talk. Yeah. Talk, talk. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do you think this is going to affect mental health? Oh, it'll probably be, you know be even better because I'm sure we're all losing our minds uh, being home and all that. Yeah, but I mean, how? But, how, but yeah. I'm, I'm talking about what, what since you're in the mental health field, what do you feel this yes, whole thing yes. is going to do to the mental health of America? Oh, 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 oh. oh I think it's going to be uh, quite interesting. <laughs> we are we are born to live in interesting times. You know what I mean? So uh, well, and we're cursed by a person that we have right now. <laughs> right now, I wish it were boring times, okay? You know, yeah. I, I could take a little bit of boring. Yes, Charlene? Has everyone gone for a haircut? No. No. <laughs> no, and no. I probably won't. I'm going to, I just ordered Me a pair. Me either, not until it's uh, 45 over. days, right? I just ordered a pair of clippers, uh, one of those. Uh, buzz, Sloby? Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, one of those wall, just. Because I'm not going to sit there. I think I'm going to do that and have Marjorie cut my hair. She has offered to cut my hair. Women, yeah. women always like to cut men's hair. Ever That's since, the ever since, the, ever since Delilah, they've liked doing that. You know, <laughs> those wall things are for uh, manscaping. No, 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 no. This is no, one. No. <laughs> I, I get a haircut. I do the number two on this. I always tell them the same thing. Number two, number five. Yeah, yeah. with so, this, I this is a. This is a number uh, number one, actually. I do. 
So you just get the things with the numbers and you just do it. Well, and the reason I do a number one is uh, I do I did a number two before I came on the air here. But uh, the reason I do a number one uh, is that uh, I figure I don't have to go back to the barber as often, you know, and, and it doesn't matter with me, you know. What am I? What am I? Who am I trying to fool? Right? Why don't you just use a, a big razor or something? You know, or you know, well, just the, you, you can do you can do that after you use the the, the other thing to uh, take care of it. You know, but uh, I think that would get itchy unless you really did a good job of manscaping once you cut it that low. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So well, let me see here. I got to find a web head. There it is. Okay. There we go. There's. Um, where are we? Uh, 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 your camera isn't on. Uh, uh, your camera isn't on. Oh, it isn't. Tony, no. Hold on. Turn it, turn it on so we can see. We're it. not walking it off. We don't see the wallpaper. Yeah, if we don't see the wallpaper. <laughs> you know. Alex. Yes, 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 Charlene. It was really weird. Um, it, like it started in Hoboken because, like in New York, they just said all nail salons and. Uh, hair salons are closed, right? Mm -hmm. But in New Jersey, it started that Hoboken closed the hair and the nail salons first. So everywhere else it was open. So then it started yesterday that like, you know, like only certain counties, like only certain nail salons and hair salons. So today I had a nail appointment because I have a standing nail appointment. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my God, I hope they, they don't, don't cancel it because I want to mm -hmm. get it done. I just made it. After I got my tomorrow, nobody will get their nails done. Charlene, my your, na your nail appointments, you got to stand? You you can't sit when they no, do No, they call it a standing, <laughs> like, you know, that you have one every, you know, week or every two weeks yeah. or something like okay. that. Uh, 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 are you having trouble, Tony? We don't have yeah, a Yeah, I'm trouble. having trouble. Can I call you back? Yeah, just call us back. It's the virus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, but, but it's crazy. The, the other county, um, in Manalapan County, mm -hmm. now you can, this guy's flouting it. The other guy that I know from New York, yeah. he's supposed to not be open, but he's going to do it anyway, I guess. He says that he, I don't know, he's going to be open anyway. Yeah. But he could be in big trouble, I guess, if he gets, I don't know. He's going to do it anyway, open his doors and do haircuts. Yeah. Al's hey. got, his, got his indoor lights on now in his car. And yep. uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, there he is, eating. I went into work today to, you know, receive merchandise, and uh, the store is closed, the, the showroom's mm -hmm. closed, but, uh, you know, we're doing installations. I did more business today on the phone than I did last week. <laughs> you know, so I don't know what's going on. You know, everybody else is closed. I answer my phone, and because I do that, People are, you know, hey, but who can I goes? I'm in the. We're in the what middle. It is, who, don't you? People are stuck in their house and they're looking at their horrible carpet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'm tr I was trying to figure out a reason, but I think you came up with it. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. Take a look at this. I got. Yeah. New carpet in here. Yeah. Yeah. I took a picture of a sample. I uh, texted it to, to the lady. She says, "That's fine. I'll take that." You know? Okay. <laughs> wait a minute. We got Tony. We, we, we got Tony. There he is. Look at that. There we got Tony now. Yeah. Oh, God. There's the wallpaper. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, Sibby Itty is calling us. Oh, I haven't heard from Sibby in a long time. Let's see here. Let's go put him in the number eight spot. All right. Here we go. Uh, let me see How here. Are you folks? I'm trying to figure out which one he is. Now there he is all the way at the bottom. Sibby Sibs, it says. And there we go. There's Sibby Itty. Yeah, it is. It's, 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 and he's not at the office. No, I'm home. <laughs> he's home. Yeah. So, how you doing, Sibby? You're out on the island. You're out in Long Island, right? Yeah, I know. It's uh, it's pretty crazy here. All the grocery places are all ransacked. People are not going out. They're, home they're not ransacked because all. people are rioting. They're ransacked because people are just buying everything <laughs> off the shelves. Can you get meat where you live? Because we we can get toilet paper now, but we can't get meat. Yeah, I heard no chicken. Uh, 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 Shecky, Shecky said he was in Costco the uh, day before yesterday, and he said they had lots of toilet paper. You know, yeah. there wasn't yeah. a problem at all with toilet paper. Oh, boy. There shouldn't comes... be any problem for toilet papers because toilet papers are predominantly made in America. It's, it's a local product. It's, yeah. it's not going to run out of stock. 
Uh, full house. If, if we do this, this is going to be a full house, right? So I need to go uh, to, uh, let's see, uh, eight, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, uh, nine. Yeah, okay, I got to, and we're going to put. Uh, nine let's plus see. you is ten. Let's. Well, I know, I know that. Hold on a second. Let me just. I'm trying to. Who 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 just called? Uh, uh, Kevin. Oh, okay. Kevin, Kevin just oh. called. Okay, wait a minute. Hog rider. There we go. Okay. And uh, uh, then I do a little transition, and we have a full house, ladies and gentlemen. Bravo. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, I should make this thing up so it only goes to a full house and not goes beyond that. Or full, to, no, to, to a, uh, a, what do you call it? What's the, uh, what's the other one? Uh, what? Royal Flush. That's Royal Flush, yeah. Royal Flush. Uh, but it just looks, there's too many empty spaces in there, I, you know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let me see here. Uh, so first of all, uh, Al, where, where are you again? Where do you live again? I'm uh, Croton on the Hudson in New York. That's the uh, northern part of Westchester. Yeah. How how crazy is it up there? I mean, are you all out of ass wipe? <laughs> well, there's some places that are. Some are and, uh, uh, I'm amazed at, like, uh, like uh, I did a, li a little junior commute this morning, and I'm like, there was no traffic on the road at all. Now really? you're pretty close to New Rochelle, maybe, what, 20 minutes? We got to call off. Yeah, I Thirty minutes, Bill. Yeah, about. You know. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Hey, wait a minute, Tony. If you can hear me, turn your mute your mic if you're going to be talking somewhere else. We're on breakfast. I got to help her in the bathroom. I'll okay, okay. Well, so just put, mute yourself <laughs> because we we don't want to hear your mother fart. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, <laughs> Go ahead, Bill. Uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, they got the drive-thru uh, testing things in, what, Long Island and New Rochelle. And, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there are tons of those. Danbury, no. too. It, where? Danbury Hospital. Oh, well, in Connecticut? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, it, you know. pretty close yeah, to me. Did you, did you see Trump today when he was asked by one of the reporters, why is it that reports are coming out that people with a lot of money are able to get these yeah. testing kits. And he said, well, that's just the way things are. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, what? You mean, you mean what? The, that, you privileged that's one of the prick? the honest things he's ever said. <laughs> you, mean, you mean for the Chinese flu? For the Chinese, <laughs> for the Chinese flu. flu. Right. Right. Call it the Spanish flu. They're not all up in arms saying they're, uh, you know, they're they're being discriminated. Actually, the Spanish flu didn't yeah, start. You in wait, wait, did, wait a few days and see where that one goes. I don't know why they called it the Spanish flu. I'm trying to remember now because it didn't start in Spain. It started yeah. in the United States. Well, maybe yeah. with a Spanish guy. Yeah, you're the only one old enough to know what happened. Yeah, yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I, it was a hundred years ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Spanish flu in 1918. Yeah. 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 God forbid a Jewish guy starts a flu. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Newer <laughs> shit. It was the, it was the guy who went to temple and contaminated everybody in Newer Shell. But yeah, well, you know what's going to happen there. I, I I've been watching a new news station and this whole thing's a hoax just to get us to go in inside our houses. That's, no, you're watching Alex Jones's channel? Is that what you're watching? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh. So let me tell you, uh, let me tell you my story today about taking advantage of the over sixty early hour shopping. Oh, oh okay. So I go to Target this yeah. morning. My wife says, "Oh, you can go an hour, you know, at eight o'clock this morning and go get some uh, Lysol and stuff at Target." <laughs> so I get my ass up and go down to Target, and she's on her way to work at seven thirty. And she sends me a text and says, there's a, there's a line out in front of Target as I was driving by. And I go, oh, crap. So I wait a few minutes, wait till about 8.15. And it's right around the corner here, about a mile away. And I drive down there about 8.15. I got to pick up a prescription anyway. Mm -hmm. And they're not open till 9. And so I go down there. <clears throat> and I park in my parking spot. And when I pull up, there's a line just sticking outside the door. And I figure, okay, they're let, only letting 25 or 50 people in there or something at a time, so I'll wait to get in and do my thing. 
And I get in there, and, and the manager's at the door. And I said, uh, he said, what are you here for? And I said, well, I'm just here to pick up some groceries, and I, I was going to see if you guys had some hand sanitizer and some Lysol. And he says, oh, we got hand sanitizer right here behind the return, ca- the return counter. Come with me. And so they got this locked up count thing back behind the return counter where the hand sanitizer is. And I said, oh, cool. I've been looking for it for like two and a half weeks. I figured I'd get me a bottle mm-hmm. and I'd be fine. Mm-hmm. And he goes back there and there's nothing in there. So I said, okay, well, that's fine. You know, I'm not worried about it. Oh, you got any Lysol? And he says, oh, yeah, that's over there. And there's this line that goes all the way to the back of the store. <laughs> and so I go, you mean that line there? And he says, yeah, that's for toilet paper and chemicals. I said, well, what about hand sanitizer? He says, oh, that's special. That goes up here. But there's none left. And I said, okay. So you got Clorox wipes and uh, Lysol in that toilet paper line, right? And he says, yeah. And I said, ah, shit. I got half hour to kill till the pharmacy is open. I'll just stand on the stupid line. Yeah. So I go all the way back in this line, stand there for 15, 20 minutes. I get all the way back there, and they've got this line for a little pack, a six-pack of toilet paper, <laughs> and, you know, paper towels, and uh, a little 12-piece thing of hand wipes, and then bathroom wipes. And she goes, what do you want, toilet paper or paper towels? And I said, I don't want toilet paper or paper towels. I'm looking for Lysol and Clorox wipes. Oh, we don't have that. Oh, boy. And I said, what? And she goes, do you want bathroom wipes or hand wipes? And I said, well, what are those? A little thin thing is, is, ha- is hand wipes. And then there was a thicker one that said bathroom wipes. And I figured, okay, I'll take the bathroom wipes because they're thicker. And I can use them to wipe down the bathroom after staying in this line. I'm going to get bathroom wipes. Yeah. So I take the bathroom wipes and walk away. And I look at the package. Dude wipes. <laughs> you know what dude your wipes ass. are? Those are for your ass. They're butt wipes. Yeah. For men. Dang, isn't it? It says on the back, directions. You must be a dude. Grab, grab one, wipe, dude. <laughs> Does it say that? <laughs> it says it right there. <laughs> it says it right there. <laughs> <laughs> Who comes up with They're this? They're ass wipes for dude. And I said, how the hell am I going to wipe down the wall in my bathroom with this shit? <laughs> well, no, it, it, there's no shit on there because you have them wiped your butt with your dude wipes. Yeah, so I, I, I take it home to my daughter and I go, okay, well, we got these. Oh, boy. What a waste. Wow. Well, so I haven't, I haven't even gone. I, I, line I haven't even gone to Costco or, as I'm now thinking of it, the Petri dish. Mm, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 and I, and, you know, I do have, I do have my, you know, now. my face masks and st- things like that, and I could probably survive it okay. But also, I mean, it's got to be a madhouse in there, yeah. you know. And if I just wait a week, I'm sure this is going to let up. I mean, right now, yeah. this is this is the uh, people are planning for the apocalypse. I got enough so, food for like three yeah, weeks. So I'm walking around the aisles just looking yeah. for. You know, some pasta or something like that to kill time for the RX to open up. And I'm looking in the cases where the milk is and everything else, and it's gone. And the iced tea, you know, the New Leaf iced tea is in jugs, and there's like one or two jugs in there. And they have been sitting in there so long that they've frozen up and they're blowing open. (laughs) (laughs) Give me those jugs. And I'm going, are you kidding me? Well, Marjorie went over to Fairway, Fairway, which is a major... um, uh, um, food market here in New York uh, that she loves. And uh, all she could come back with was three things of pasta sauce and some ravioli. And what else did she get? A few other little things. But, you know, it, 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 there, there were shelves that were empty. Just empty. Yeah, I, I, I honestly thought it was oh, the Armageddon, yeah. and I'm just walking around going, okay, well, what's left? You well, know? nobody said food isn't going to exist after a certain point. And you know what I'm thinking of doing? I'm thinking of starting, even though it's going to cost me money, ordering out for food. Uh, because most of the restaurants in the neighborhood are still serving food. It's just you. It's for takeout or if you want to order it. Or as I showed yesterday, 
The Popeyes, for instance, it's all for pickup, you know. Well, those people are going to be hurt too. Yeah. Huh? Oh yeah, but it was it's for takeout, and they have like caution tape around all the tables so you can't sit at yeah. them. It's like a murder scene. <laughs> it's like a murder scene. Yeah. 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 I I the, which at our at our Popeyes in our neighborhood could be a murder scene. We don't that know, you know, unless we see an actual outline on the floor. We figure it's just caution <laughs> tape. Yeah. It's if you've seen the fun. Darden stock, it's gone from one twenty down to thirty. The what stock? Garden. They own uh, Olive Garden and Red Lobster and those kind of restaurants. Really? Oh, wow. That's wow. going to be hard wow. to recover from. Gee, my side is hurting me. What from? Oh, I, I'm having all kinds of weird <clears throat> things lately. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so, uh, so I'm having it. It's going to be rough for those people. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Oh, listen, I mean, I, I, I'll tell you, here's what, I, here's what I hate, okay? Today I'm listening to Trump again. I'm not not going to bash Trump. He's our president at a time of great crisis, and we have to depend on him. But he's going on and on about how we have to save the airlines, how we have to save yeah. uh, the... Uh, what, what was the other thing besides the airline? Uh, the uh, uh, cruise company. lines and the hotels. The, the cruise lines, the cruise lines. And I'm thinking, Shit. screw them. I haven't taken a cruise yet in my whole life. I don't yeah, think they screw got them to begin with. Cruise lines, for the most part, have been the greatest uh, 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 petri dish for diseases known to mankind. Am I right, Sibby? You just went, yeah. Remember yeah. the Legionnaires' disease? That was one of the first ones that they yeah, got. Yeah. Well, that's that, no, they started as a, at a hotel. That one. Legionnaires. Um, okay. Yeah, they wound up getting it on a cruise ship as well. But they it started in Philadelphia at a uh, at a hotel. Uh, yeah, they typically Benson. started underneath air conditioners. And I think they call it Legionnaire's disease because it became apparent during a Legionnaire's convention at this hotel. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, that was the first one. There you go. Uh, but uh, uh, I don't care about the goddamn you know cruise ships. I don't care about the airlines. Come on, they're big boys. You know, if they can build those big, giant, humongous cruise ships that really just are too big to even float, right? Then for crying <laughs> out loud, if you can afford to build those, you can afford a little downtime, okay? And if you can't, then you're not running a good business there. Hey, I am royalty on cruise lines. I won the silver medal on the Royal Caribbean belly flop contest. <laughs> yeah, but you you well, missed you missed the pool done. and you hit the ocean, but the water <laughs> went out of the ocean. So you know it was the pool, <laughs> yeah. and everybody got the bed. Imagine he jumps into the pool, the water hits everybody, everybody's a scatter. No, no, Get the lights all out. You know, I had never, you know, my friend Shecky, as you know, Shecky, uh, he he loves the he cruise. loves I'm cruises, he loves cruises. Although he hasn't been going on them lately, but he loves cruises. And he's done some pretty exotic ones. That's where I'm jealous. He just did one where he went to Antarctica. Yeah, that looked right? really nice. But and, he said it was really long, Alex. And he says penguins crap like crazy. So he says there's nothing but crap all over the place because they don't care where they go. Well, you got to go. Like <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, and he loves those th those cruises. And he said, come on, join me on a cruise. You know, He says, I always book a room for two. And you know, you can come on one of the cruises. And I go... Well, yeah, maybe I'll think about it. And the reason I'm thinking about it is I don't want to go on a cruise because I'm stuck on a boat with a bunch of people I don't want to be stuck on a boat with. You know? Nice. I like cruises. I do too. And no way out. No uh, way no out. Way. If you're not having a good time, you're stuck. You know? Unless it's exotic. Yes, Al. Did you have your, did you have your hand up, Al? No, I didn't. Oh, oh, I thought you had your hand up. I'm. Things to do no, on a cruise. Not. There's a million things to do. I worked on a cruise ship uh, when my fa my father had the port in New York as a customer. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Greek line ships were one of the shipping companies that we used to change the carpet on. Mm -hmm. And so they'd come into port. Uh, we'd start changing the carpet. And if we weren't done, we went to the first stop was uh, Hamilton, Bermuda. Mm -hmm. And then they'd fly us back. And uh, I, t I tell you something, I, I had a great time on that. And I've gone on a couple of cruises. Uh, I, I went in the Mediterranean. Uh, 
tell you. Okay, so talking. so as the as the uh, as the um, uh, naysayer in the group here, uh, why why should we care about the cruise ships right now? Yeah, what really why should that be a why should that be a priority with us as it seems to be with uh, uh, Mr. Trump. Trump? It employs a lot of people. It it brings a lot of revenue into. I'll our bet place. you. I'll bet you the restaurants in New York City it's employ more restaurant. people. Than uh, than the yeah. than the whole cruise ship business yeah. combined. So um, here, can you uh, imagine West, the dining in Manhattan going out the window now? Holy so, shit! Yeah. So what, what, what what's he doing to save the restaurants here in New York? Yes, Al. I'm thinking that you, what you just said about all the restaurant business that's like one of the biggest employers across the United States for God's mm-hmm. sakes anymore. I mean, they're saying the whole industry is probably out the door. Well, if it's not out the door, the people who work in them certainly are. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. And, and now the president's going to send out what a thousand dollars to all of us or something. Can't even pay rent oh. Apparently, apparently he can't even be original. I think Andrew Yang had that idea during the campaign, oh, if I'm not mistaken. Not, not, uh, not just. Are we getting two check. or one? I hear we're getting two now. We keep yeah, two. yeah, but am I going to get one? No. I don't know. Why? Yeah. You're not working. <laughs> No, but do you, you know, it's not like he's saying you have to make a claim, okay? Oh, or it's not like he says, it, it okay. George Bush, wasn't it? We, it was if, George it, Bush said, I don't know. Every, 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 everybody who wants to go get unemployment, we will subsidize the states for the unemployment during this period of time. Something like that. No, it's just. I mean, I guess you're going to get a check, right? It's like Oprah. You're going to get a check, Kevin, and you're yeah, going to get yeah, a check, gonna, Tony, and you're going to get a check, Sibby. You're going to get a check, Phil. Yes, Kevin. Well, uh, Rob was in front of me. Go ahead, Rob. I was going to uh, say I wonder if anybody's looking back at any of the videos from the past when Obama bailed out the car companies and the banks and everybody else because now Trump's just giving money away to everybody to bail them all out. I wonder if Trump had come out and said, oh, you shouldn't have done that and all that. So it'll be interesting to see if any of that yeah. surfaces. That's by, by the way, just for your information, your mic sounds terrific right now. Right? Oh? Yeah, sounds great. Uh, that, that, uh, that bailout thing was different. This is going directly to people that are not getting a paycheck No, right no, now. no, no, no. Well, he uh, isn't saying so that. Every American. The cruise lines? No, I'm talking about people getting $1,000. Everybody, Phil. Everybody's getting it, Phil. Yeah, wow. but people right now need money. They're they're in their homes. They can't go out. They have to. You know, I, I'm have not to making. Money. I'm not number one. I'm not making any more money, less money now than I was making before because I I live on Medicare and my and my after pension. All right, and secondly, secondly, I'm actually saving money because I'm not going out. All right, because every time I hit the streets in New York City, it's going to cost me at least 50 bucks. Yes, Kevin. Two points. Number one, he's, in, you know, encouraging a bailout of the cruise lines, yet the government's telling everybody to stay away from the restaurants, right? Yeah. So that's almost well, opposite. So that's hurting the restaurants, not helping them. Who was it I saw? And, Who was it? Right. I saw? Yeah. So, and then the other thing you got to think about is, isn't giving everybody a thousand dollars a socialist? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. Isn't that kind of a socialist <laughs> okay. way to help people out? Yeah. Are you going to fall on your sword? Isn't that funny? <laughs> well, no, Phil. How do you feel about that? Isn't that socialistic? Yeah, I think that you have to do what's necessary. Oh, I oh, know. Oh, oh, Phil. Okay. Oh, Phil. Not necessary. But, but, but if it's, if it's, it's, it's socialistic, then it must be communistic, <laughs> just, according saying, to you, Phil. Just saying. Uh, I'm looking for the uh, thing. There, boy, a boy, I love how he diverts when we got him. You know? <laughs> I'm looking something up here. Oh, okay, good. You're so, you're, you're so uh, black or white. It's not, uh, it's not black or white. <laughs> Now, right now, people are in trouble, and something has to be done. It's gray and, right now because he hasn't issued it yet. You know, uh, there's uh, there's another bill that says that m- employers with less than 500 people are going to have to pay the salaries of uh, of people that are uh, that can't work. And yeah, that's another socialist response too, right? They're gonna they're gonna help the people out with FMLA. 
weeks. Today. They're going to pay for uh, two weeks. Uh, people's yeah. medical for the testing. That's a socialist response too. I think. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. you know, right now we have uh, a disaster, and uh, when in a disaster, you you know you need. Your I government. see. Oh, I see. Then in, in a disaster, in a disaster, you need socialism. No, you, Republican you, commies. You can call it what you want, but it's it's called help for people. Oh, that need I see. Well, oh, well that's what when the Republicans. That's, that's what Medicare is. Help. That's what Social Security yeah. is. That's what uh, single payer health care would be. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Your your friend Biden. He said that. Uh, how come? He's Italy, not my friend, by the way. I don't know him personally, and. Uh, Italy. Yeah. Has yeah. the, had the you know very high amount of deaths and people, uh, and they've got single payer health care. So well, you know, how, how come it's not working there, tough guy? Yeah, Republican socialist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not here. <laughs> That's different, Phil. That's because oh. their medical system's overwhelmed. That has nothing to do with who's going to pay for it. Wait, and, wait and to see care. how Lars gets. Yeah, up. this is going to crush our health care here. With the oh, wait till our health care is no different than a buffet. Uh, when you're full and you leave the last plate full so nobody I, else can get it. I woke up this morning to under 7,000 cases. The The latest report is 8,500 cases. Wow. Because wow. yeah, they're testing. They're testing. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, yeah, I'm not saying it. Say it, no, it is, uh, it's going to overwhelm our free society <laughs> system just the way it does the single payer system. Yeah, how this many? Is, this is unprecedented. Yeah, I, I, how many deaths? There, you know, you can you can we just hit over a hundred deaths, I think. Right, we would, would have you, more deaths because people can't afford deaths. it. Well, by, the, by the by the by the way, in in Italy, uh, the death toll, the uh, 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 in, in, what do you call it? The amount of people that have it is like thirty one thousand. There've been thirty one thousand cases, and there've been three thousand deaths. That's a ten percent death rate. That's scary, now. That's scary. That's because they don't have don't they can't they don't right, you, have enough you, ventilators. You, they have to decide who gets the and that has nothing to do with it being single payer. That has right, to do right. with the size of their medical system. That's the big worry. Here. Don't have enough equipment. I heard that once you go on one of those ventilators, it's it's all over. Uh, you know, as far as uh, the, usually you die on those things. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I haven't heard that. We don't even have them, so we no, don't even get that. You die if you don't get to go on one. The Communist News Network. They Ob want obviously, players. obviously, there's some reason why they put people on ventilators and don't say, well, don't use those. That's not going to help. Has yeah. anybody <laughs> talking about Communist News Network? Has anybody seen the video of um, uh, the before and after with Fox News? How? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Everybody. Oh, now said, tonight. Wait, 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 hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Let, let, him, let him. Let him. Let him finish. Let him. They finish. just want to bring Trump down, and now they're all in six different locations, and we're practicing social distancing. And uh, <laughs> the only one who was honest was Carlson Tucker. He's the only one who said from the very beginning that people that you voted for, that people you trust, might not be. Uh, might be taking this too lightly. He's the only one of the Fox hosts. And by the way, it's Tucker Carlson. Unless you yeah. put a unless you yeah. put a comma in there. Carlson but, Tucker sounds better. Tucker than Carlson, you here. <laughs> <laughs> but he's the only one who was honest. Yeah. Is that his real head, Tucker Carlson, Alex? You think? I, know, I used to be on his show every Friday. Yeah, I used to watch it in the afternoon. Yeah. You were on it. Yeah. Okay, you know. He was okay. We, I thought he was okay. And then he was, he was yes, there. Yeah, Jeff's got his hand up. Jeff? Yeah. Uh, I understand that the worst place to be uh, in the United States today, because the number of people who are getting sick, is New York. Yes. Yeah. I'm afraid to leave the house. Well, I'll tell you what we got here. I'll tell you what's been bothering me today. Uh, uh, supposedly, our uh, pollen count has has gone up. Uh, this is it's allergy time, and so I'm a little heavy in the chest. I don't have any temperature. I'm, I'm just stuffy in the nose, but I'm not coughing or anything else. So I know I don't have any of the symptoms. All right, but still, it scares you. You know. Of course. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Somebody have his hand up there. Oh yeah, Charlene. I see. My problem is here. I'm, I I got so many people. I can't see very many of you at one time. Okay, Charlene. Well, this is related to what Jeff said. Mm -hmm. Did you see um, those two like uh, 
they're almost like battleships, <clears throat> like Intrepids are coming in, and they want to use the Javits Center as a hospital. That's how many uh, people are going to get sick in New York, they think, right? Well, you know, they're, they're I heard a great wow. suggestion. I heard a great suggestion, <clears throat> and that was that if you want to bail out the, uh, the uh, cruise ships, then why don't we turn them into floating hospitals for the time being? Right. Yes. Why don't so, we use them as floating that's hospitals? That's a perfect quarantine. Get them underwater. Well, I mean, I don't, I, you know, I, my, my, the idea, you know, but uh, the thing I didn't get with the, with the ships themselves when they had the problem with it uh, initially was they kept them all on the ship so that those people who weren't infected were stuck there with people who were and eventually were going to get infected. So yeah. I don't know putting them on a ship is the best idea. I don't know. I'm not, I don't know. I have to go to the hospital in maybe two weeks to go get a CT scan. I don't know if I want to go into that uh, bacteria-infected no, no. rat no. trap. Well, the germs, you better be careful. <clears throat> hmm? I moved back all my yeah. doctor's appointments till next month. Jeff? They're all canceling. All my doctor's appointments. Uh, yeah, well, this is something they have to do at, at about a month's point so they can have a reference point on my on my seeds and see them. So I don't know. You know, I, I don't know whether they're going to cancel out. Oh, by the way, my trial, it's coming up. That's going to yeah. cancel. cancel. I'm sure it's going to oh, get canceled. Yeah. I'm sure it's going to get canceled. You know. So, I mean, all our lives are put on hold. And this could go on, they say... Uh, I'll tell you, Cuomo was on again today, and I, I got to tell you, I I love the guy. I just think that Andrew Cuomo. Did you did you see him at all, Al? Did you see any of the stuff he was? Yeah, doing? I did. I, I, I've been catching it all the time. He's, he's very impressive. He's yeah. uh, definitely a micromanager. He's a micromanager, and he he sat there and explained everything. He explained how many beds we have now, how many we're going to need if it hits uh, this the forty five day point, all of those things. And uh, he was. He's, my he, that's why Trump hates him so much. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, he, <laughs> he, he 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 was able to communicate in the best possible way to people, and not to make it sugarcoat it. On the other hand, he didn't want to panic you either. He said, "Look, you know," he said, "These are trying times, and we have to get through them. And these are the things that are going to be a, a real problem to you is having to put up." You know, not seeing people you love and things like that, and he and he really took a very human approach. And I thought to myself, yeah. if Trump could only do that, but he's totally incapable of that because he wasn't raised that way. You know, yet uh, Cuomo was raised in an Italian family, and they're all huggy and kissy, and and and, and everybody loves everybody else. And it's he has wow. the human touch. And of, quite frankly, I think this guy should run for president. Yeah, I mean, this I like guy him. would be a well, great he's not president. Huh? huh? See, Cuomo's not seventy-eight yet. He's yeah, so he can't. He can run. Did his father run? Well, his father that was ran, right? Mar He Mar went to my nephew's high school, Alex Malloy. Really? Yeah, he graduated from Malloy, and I think he went to St. John's. I'm not yeah. sure. I, I mean, he he is. has just been so terrific through this. Every day I watch his little uh, little gatherings uh, because I like what he. You know, it's interesting what he has to say. Uh, let's see here. Who's got his hand up? Is that Phil? Phil. Oh, I couldn't yeah. see who your hand was covering your face, so I couldn't see who it was. Yes, <laughs> Phil. Hey, uh, now de Blasio said that he wanted to have a shutter and shutter in place like they oh, have the shelter Bay. in place. Shelter in shelter, place. Shelter, that's it. And uh, so the the uh, now Cuomo said that de Blasio can't do that without state permission, and he's not giving him permission because it will be too hard on uh, places well, of business. Well, Cuomo, Cuomo said this yesterday in his daily debriefing, yeah. that he's, he's not close to the idea of that sort of thing if it gets bad enough, but right now he just feels that it would <clears throat> do more harm than it would do good. Well, what, what, uh, what puzzles me is if, I don't know if New York's the same as California, but how can the California seven Bay Area counties do uh, uh, the um, shutter in place or shelter whatever? shelter in place uh, and uh, uh, and the whole state not do it? But New York, uh, it, it's the other way around. It's not the not the same deal. You know, yeah, well, 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 yes, there's a, there's a big difference. I think it's called something like four million, five million people, you know, as a difference. Well, 
California um, is, is uh, you know, I, I mean... Secondly, I, San Francisco really has a problem with that because they have such a homeless, po large homeless population. Yeah. The they don't is, have to shelter in place. Well, they... They, they don't have a place to shelter. They, they don't have a place to shelter. Yeah, so yeah. what do you do about those people? They won't get sick. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. right. Okay. Um, Yes. Yeah, yeah, Superman. Sibby, everything okay out on Long yeah, Island? I thought they it, did have yeah. a shelter in place, Phil. Uh, not for the homeless. Uh, from what well, I read, the, the I homeless had... are sheltering in place. They're in their shelters. That's right. their place. Well, I mean, no, that's the way it is all the way around the Bay Area. Here, we have one here, and our homeless are sitting outside. No, they're talking about you know living on the street type. Well, um, that's that's their place. Well, that's not and, a good. And place. that's that's the problem. Yeah. It, 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 you know, I mean, this is, um, um, you don't think there's a, you do, do agree that there is a pandemic, right, Phil? Hoax. <laughs> yes, of course I do. Okay. <laughs> it's funny that even people who are usually naysayers of this sort of thing, oh, it's not really a, a pandemic, and it's not, a, a, most people are going, yeah, it's a pandemic. You know, from everything we've heard, it has all the hallmarks of being a pandemic. There's still some holdouts. What we're trying to do, holdouts, I'll tell you yeah. what we're doing. We're, you know, the old saying, I said this last night, called an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And this is the ounce of prevention, you know, that we have to do this now in order to stop it from spreading further. If we didn't do anything, this thing would be just amazingly deadly. And, and yeah. I'm frightened as an older person because I know that if it's between me and a 40-year-old getting the ventilator... They're going to give it to the 40-year-old saying, well, he's got a lot of life ahead of him, but this guy doesn't. Unless you have enough money. We will get, we'll, we'll have to ah, get, yeah. we will get you a ventilator, Alex. You'll you get me a ventilator? Also, we, you also have to fun. remember that we are <laughs> yeah. we're technically behind in numbers right now yeah. because the numbers we're seeing now are actually not real because... We don't have the testing going we on. We're right. way behind in the numbers. The numbers that we're seeing are just reported numbers. Mm -hmm. We don't have enough tests out yet to see. We're actually three or four days behind Kevin, of what they actually are. You don't think that the death numbers are accurate? They're accurate to the point that what we've reported up to now. But well, death no, numbers we probably, death, death numbers would be more accurate because we yeah. know that somebody died of it. Okay. Yeah, there's not enough, yeah, there's not enough tests in the field to give us accurate, up-to-date numbers. The number Once the tests get out in the field and the re results are reported, then they'll be better. Well, but then you're we're still four or five days behind. We're probably a couple of weeks away. Like, no, not death. You see, the death is accurate. You know that the guy died, and, and, and that's good. You just don't know what the ratio is of cases to deaths. Yeah, you don't know how many are Sometimes sick. you don't know that somebody died of it. Yeah, that is true. You know, they, they just died. died. They never do it. Yes, yes, Jeff. 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 Find Jeff. Yeah, a guy down the street. Yeah, if I died, nobody would find out for two months. Jeff? <laughs> a guy right down the street died the other day. But nobody yeah. knows why he died. Uh, yeah. You know, the coroner will figure that out. Right. Nobody's going to test him. Yeah. Yeah, but like, like Rob said, though, if you think about it, Phil, even like two weeks ago, we had what? Eight, maybe six cases here, maybe in New York. Yeah. Now we're close. Well, you know, here's the sad thing. With no tests, right? Here, 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 going up. Here, here's the sad thing. Here's the sad thing. Yeah. Barack Obama, dashed I say that name to around in his <laughs> presence, um, created a pandemic ta task force yep. uh, to deal uh, to look at and uh, see what would be done if we had a pandemic and what we would need in order to ward off a pandemic and, the, the, you know, to literally suss this whole thing out. And as soon as he got into office, the first thing Trump got rid of was that task force. Yeah. So, you know, the reason we're... I think we're, got rid of some uh, other things first. No, I, 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 it was pretty soon, right after that, he got rid of that, ta that particular task force it was yeah. tasked with because everybody was saying, you know, we don't have a pandemic right now. But it's and if it's going, it's not when it's going to, if it's going to happen, it's when it's going to happen. That sometime this is going to happen, and we have to be ready for it. And Obama put together a task force to see what we would do in order to ward off something like that. If those things had been in place today, 
we, we might still have a problem, but we'd be better, more capable of handling it. See, you know what's scary what I don't get? Let me ask this question. Yeah. This is where somebody has to get fired for this. How? Did, let's say now they knew in China what about, say three months ago they knew about this in China. How yeah. could we and they, how could we not have test kits? Once we knew about it over there, we should have been having test kits here already on the ground in each state, so that we could test. Not that oh it's here we don't have it. The Chinese lied. They didn't fully. They didn't tell us what was going on. They concealed this stuff. They lied. Yeah, we so, 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 so Phil, so what? So well, what? And you don't know that it's coming over here. Uh, and so the amount of time well, that we could well, have we, well, we, 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 we did know, we did know about just, we did know about that town in China when it happened. We and we it. knew that. The, but, but, you know, the thing well, is, we could have had we could have had methodology in place for any pandemic that would come yeah, around. And we so weren't okay. ready for yeah, anything. So. It was before Wuhan. We could have had plenty of time to do what we needed to do, and they lied to us. They set us up. And oh, oh uh, okay, it's all the Chinese fault. So you think the Chinese set us up? They ignored actually, them. actually, am I right or am I wrong? It's but I, I, I heard the other day that it didn't start in China. That there was actually some other incidents of it somewhere else in the world first. Harlem, and then it got to China. <laughs> You know, but that, you know, it, it, it's not a question of blame. The, the, the question we have to ask ourselves in this country is why weren't we prepared for this exactly. sort of yeah. eventuality? Yeah. We knew that eventually something like this would happen. You know, we saw Ebola in Africa and we saw other uh, SARS uh, in, in yeah, swine flu with the birds. Remember the birds going on? Yeah. Birds. yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, why weren't we ready for this? You know, why weren't we ready for this eventuality? Why didn't we say we have to have a stockpile of ventilators just in case? Because, you know, ventilators aren't going to go bad on you. They'll sit there and they'll start working the minute you plug them in. You know what's funny? We got nuclear weapons, right? What are they doing us for now? We can't We can't kill the virus with the nukes. No. They, know how to, they know how to build that up, but we couldn't build up our health system. Yeah, they hospital. built up a nuclear system. Patients. You're right. You're very, very. Nukes are sexy. Nukes are sexy in pandemic. Yeah. Not. yeah. Um, you know, so I mean, you know, I wonder what we're going to get hit with next. Uh, you know, we just had a uh, in, in um, Utah, there was an earthquake. Uh, now we've got this flu. Uh, pretty soon there's going to be something else hitting us from the other side. Uh, you know, maybe it's time for the North Koreans to give us some help and, t you know, take down our uh, utility grid. Yeah. You know, the North Koreans don't have any uh, any virus. Maybe maybe they can help us. Uh -huh. you know they did. You would not know if they did. By the way, worldwide, yep. worldwide, we today we surpassed 200,000. We're 218,000 yep. right now. Oh, and, it's and, going to go to over a million. And by the way, our uh, uh, also the uh, stock market went below where it was when Trump took office. So all the gains that Trump is supposedly claiming, gone. Hey, gone. I, it was my fault that the stock market did what it did. Yeah, you voted for Trump. In the stock went in and went down. I invested last week. I was going in. Everybody take their money out. <laughs> on the <t> <laughs> now you're going in. And now it, it, it's it's destroyed. Why? Yeah. Phil bought. I, I've been telling everybody, if I buy something, you do the opposite. I told you not to, Phil. I know. I have the Midas touch in reverse. <laughs> yeah. uh, so far in, uh, in Italy, there have been 2,978 deaths. And 5,389 recoveries out of a total, I think, of something like over 30,000 people. That, you know, that's, a, that's a, about a 10% death rate. That's I pretty amazing. That's high. That's high. That, that's high. Uh, here, here in the United States, uh, we are at uh, 9,345 um, uh, let me see here in the United States. Uh, where, where do we go? Oh, well, that's Nebraska. There are only 29 in Nebraska. Um, oh, the U.S., uh, 97. Conf no, no, it's more than that. Why, why, why can't I? Oh, well, I don't get it. So anyway. It was over 100? Hmm? Over 100 deaths in the U.S.? Yeah, something like that. We've hit over 100 deaths. Yeah. 
Uh, and um, we've got what? Uh, how many? Just in the flu season. What? What? What did you say? We normally have during the normal flu season. No, but, but the normal this mild flu season, unfortunately. Yeah, but during a normal flu season. Yeah, you know. but but you know we we can't compare the two, Phil. Why? Because I mean, because no because no no Phil, it's because of percentages of people who die as a result of the flu. The flu that we have during flu season, okay, a certain amount of people die. The percentage of that compared to all the people that get the flu is something like about one percent. All right. right? Because we here we're talking here people. we're talking about a death rate of three or four percent. That, that 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 rate is not accurate because we don't know how many people actually have the virus because we haven't tested. Phil, all, sorry, all I'm saying is go tell that to the people in Italy who say that that one out of every ten people who get this. Phil, your, your, Phil, your statistic is out the window. No, my my statistic is not wrong. You, the common yearly flu. Yeah, people die from that. Yeah, how many? I don't know. Last year, how probably many? probably more than have died so far of the. Uh, Seventeen thousand. Yeah. So, all right. Is, so when, so, so when it went, went uh, right now, we're at. Uh, let's see here. How many deaths have we had so far? What's in the your United point, States? though? This has devastated our economy. This well, is everybody. You know, seventeen thousand yeah. people died. I can't even leave the house. Life. That's because the media big deal the thing. Come on, it has nothing to do with the media. We're talking about how many cases are coming up every day. This is this this is manufactured. Wow. No, well, Phil, Phil, Phil. Even your, even your fellow Republicans don't believe that anymore, Phil. Mitt Romney's concerned. Even the president doesn't believe. Yeah. That. Well, he's being pushed by the. By. <laughs> no, no. According to him, so listen. I, you got to stand. I got to stand up for Trump. He told us that he's always called it a pandemic. He's always believed it to be a yeah, pandemic. Now he's always called it that. We're always at you war in East pandemic. Eastern Europe or whatever the heck it was. It was a Chinese disease or something. Yeah. He keeps saying the Chinese. Yeah. That's another thing. That's He shouldn't say Chinese flu or whatever that thing is. Why? He should say yeah. column A? He said that and he, and he, uh, he got so challenged on it. And then I was watching... Uh, the NBC Power, you know, Power Hour or whatever it is on the stock channel there, and yeah, yeah. the host there was kept talking to this one guy, um, what the hell's his name, Bass, I guess it was, and he kept saying Chinese flu and the Chinese virus, and the host kept saying, let's just call it the uh, the 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 uh, COVID nineteen yeah. or whatever other flu, and he said, no, we're calling it the Chinese flu, and he said. How about we call it the, uh, you know, coronavirus? And he said, no, we're calling it the Chinese flu, you know, Chinese virus. And he kept insisting. Who's, and who said, said well, that? We're who was, end this who, interview. Who was insisting that? One of Trump's people? No, yeah. it was uh, it was uh, one of the guys that they were interviewing. His name was Bass, I think. His name it was an investor dude, you know, one of those guys that they interview about the stocks. Of course. And he, he kept he, saying he, it and saying it. And yeah, I go, oh, boy, it's Chinese. already catching on. Come on. The guy was named after a fish. That's you true. Know. Hang on the wall. But, but I mean, it, it, you know, I mean, uh, 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 the point is that that well, the uh, thing is that something like that spreads. Yeah, and, and the goons get a hold and, of it. And, and, you know and it's going to happen. And Phil, I would be a little worrisome about it. You're right in the target age for uh, having this thing kill you, uh, yeah. as is a lot of the people on this panel. Uh, Kev well, Kevin I'm, has I'm, serious sure. issues. Uh, Sibby is not old enough, right? Sibby, how old are you? He doesn't say anything tonight. He forty. Forty. Okay, so you're you're still okay. You're the guy who's getting the respirator. Okay, all right. Yeah. I'm the <laughs> one they go. Well, it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter really. You know, yeah. it, they're saying that. Did you see all the kids down on South Beach? They're they're yeah, saying, you know, disgusted. screw this. I'm still going to get drunk. Oh. Looks and like oh yeah, we're still partying. Spring break. Bastards. I wish shit. I was dumb there. shits. <laughs> Yeah, but you know what? They could be carriers of it, these kids. And yeah, they, well, they, well, that's yeah. that's where there, that's where then, this, they're, then they're all going to go home yeah. and spread the shit around. That's yeah. where the kids. Well, that's where the kids are being stupid because they're killing their grandparents. Is what they're doing. Exactly. Yeah, it's a pandemic. Yeah, so so they, one of the the guy that died of corona the guy that died of coronavirus here in town was only sixty years old. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is remarkable. When we were young, we didn't have a pandemic. 
<laughs> you have to think a little bit. And parents, I don't know, where are these parents? Who exactly. Left yeah. But, you're right. I mean, college well, kids. You yeah, go. So somebody's paying no one's paying well, we, we, we're, We've come close to the coronavirus here because Marjorie's best friend, who is Natalia, who is Jack's uh, wife, um, uh, the last time Marjorie saw her was a week ago Saturday, I think. Uh, but she, uh, Natalia, who's working from home, says at her job place, uh, two people on her floor where she works have come down with the virus. Sibby raised his hand. Yeah, uh, which I don't think we've got a problem because it, she, Marjorie would have had it already. Yes, Sibby, did you raise your hand? And then Kevin. Yeah, uh, it's also called boomer remover. Boomer yes. remover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> boomer, oh, yeah. <laughs> my daughter says that all the time. Yeah. Uh, yes, you, Kevin. The, that, that article I sent you, I don't know if you read the whole damn thing. It was very long. Yeah, I read part of it, not all. But of it. The, the, the calculation in there is what got me is that. The calculation that I came up with uh, on knowing someone that you would uh, know that caught the coronavirus was basically 1.7, that you would know someone that caught the virus. One in seven? One, one point, point seven. seven. So maybe two people that you would know would catch that virus. Yeah. So it's, it's, so it's an interesting, you know, it was an interesting calculation. You know, it's something that that we have to uh, we have to be aware of, and it uh, you know it it will start leveling off, but not uh, according to uh, uh, b the best estimates by our governor here in New York, uh, Andrew Cuomo. Uh, probably it may peak in forty five days. So in the meantime, yeah, that's the beginning that, of May, huh? What would you what you say? That's the beginning of May. Yeah, and that also means people are going to be out of work till then. Restaurants are going to be closed. Movie theaters are going to be closed. The Broadway theaters are going to be closed. I mean, virtually. And the schools are done. And schools are done. Schools out yeah. for the year. All yeah. right. Yeah, uh, pretty much. Yeah, and um, which does not make my daughter happy. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm, and you know something? It's a tribute to her very smart father that she is unhappy that she can't go to school. Most kids would be going, "Yay, good, now yeah. school." Yay. You know, Absolutely. what's the song? <laughs> schools out for summer. Yeah. yeah, no. School's out forever is the last line on that one. Yeah, so. and then, and then, well, it may be true. It may be online yeah. le learning from now on. Oh, gee, we haven't heard much from uh, from. Uh, have you had your hand up at all, Charlene? Because I can't see that well. Oh, since, I had it up. Yeah. But oh, every, it was okay. Uh, oh, okay. Did you have something quick you want to say? Because we're about to sign off here. No, no, I'm okay. Okay, uh, just hunker down. You haven't gone out of the house, have you? Me? Yeah. Oh, I had to get my nails, nails done. You had to get your nails hole. done. Okay. Vanity will kill you. Okay. Brought to you by Dude, Dude Wipes. <laughs> we'll get you some monetization here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I may have some of those wipes for the butt. Maybe I can use those. You want a clean sometime. butt? It's Don't Dude Wipes. <laughs> Dude Wipes. You just had to buy those for the name alone, right? Exactly. Hey, he listen. Fine. He wasn't going to leave without him. I got to thank everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Rob Alfano, for being here tonight. Charlie Wallace, Phil Meyer, Charlene Martinez, Jeff, uh, 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 Alan. Did it, say, did it say Alan here? That's what it did say. Yeah. 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 Alan. Cool. Al. And uh, let's see here. Uh, who else we got? Oh, yeah. Tony and uh, uh, um, um, uh, Sibby Itty. And, of course, Kevin, if you'll all give a big wave goodbye, I will then turn around and wave back at you. Okay, see ya. Thanks for being here. That's our citizen panel for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just hang up on them unceremoniously like there's so much uh, grist for the mill. And uh, there we go. I t turned them off. And let me turn mine off so that the next program, which is Jack Bishop and the Intersection, can use the uh, the lines, okay? And uh, uh, they will be doing it in just a few moments, so you can call their citizen panel. I'm Alex Bennett. That's it for tonight. Tomorrow night, we're back on again. Uh, same time, same, not 10 and 30 Eastern Daylight Time. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.